Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be showing you one of my favorite sketch extensions. And this extension, what it allows you to do is it allows you to create boxes and buttons of that sort that have padding. That way, if you're creating a button, just like in CSS, regardless of the text that's in that button, it's going to adjust to the size of that text. So you don't have to fiddle around with uh, box sizes or, or things like that to make sure your dimensions are correct. If you say, you know, this box has 20 pixels padding, it's going to respond to that padding based off of the text inside of that. So get going and we're gonna show you where you can get this plugin, install it and check it out. So to get started, we first need to grab the plugin, uh, the link of which I'm going to put in the description on the video. It's for this Sketch Dynamic Button plugin. So you can go ahead and download this button directly from the GitHub page here, and we're gonna show you how to use it. Okay, so just like last time when we installed the plugin, the easiest way to do it is just to come into Sketch. We're gonna come into Reveal Plugins folder, and it's going to open up our Plugins folder and Finder. Here we can just go ahead and drop this dynamic uh, button plugin directly in here and there we have it so to get started what we need to do is we need to create a text layer and this text layer is going to be the the padding of our box of our button that is so let's say we wanted a button with 20 pixels on the top and bottom and then 40 on the right and left of padding we're going to say 20 colon uh, let's actually zoom in on this so we can see this bigger. Uh, let's say 20 colon um, 40 colon 20 colon 40. Now this is just like CSS if you're used to that it's going top right bottom left and let's bump up the font size a bit so we can see it better. So something like 48 there we go cool so now let's go ahead and create our button all we need to do is select this text layer and hit command j what you see is we've been given a new flex button group now if we open this up we can see that we have our text layer and we have this this uh background layer and here we have our dynamic box now how do we get it so we can change the text and make it dynamic well if we change this text to something like submit you'll notice the box stays the same size so how do we get this to be dynamic well if we change the layer name here we can just double click on the layer name itself and then set this to be whatever our padding is let's do something a bit different this time so we can do uh, let's do a little bit wider of a button so we can say 10 and then 50 10 50 and keep in mind you need the colons in between there so 10, 10 colon 50 colon 10 colon 50 colon okay notice how our layer name is that but our button still says submit now with the text layer selected we can hit command J once more and what's happened is our button our background has changed size to match the dimensions that we wanted here likewise if we were to change this word to um, um, let's just say hi, which is a nice short word. We can now make sure that we have our layer name the same and hit command J once more and you can see the button uh, resizing itself. So this way we could create something, maybe give this a blue color. Um, we could round the edges a little bit and uh, maybe change this text color to white now that's on top of a button. There we go. And now we have a nice looking button here. And we did that all with the help of this plugin. Again, one more example to show you after it's changed, we could just say this is now saying cancel. Select your text, command J, perfect. Uh, it couldn't be any easier. We now have dynamic buttons in Sketch 3. So check it out. Let me know what you make with this. Uh, it's really great for, for web comps where you're changing buttons and now somebody says, oh, this button doesn't have the right text. You don't have to uh, change it. It's going to be more like CSS where you can always have things updated based on the sort of the styles, the generic styles you want. So perfect. Check it out. Let me know what you think. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, uh, let us know what you're thinking. We'd love to hear from you. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.